weather is dope today, so let's get out of the house and explore the city. Before anything else, we have to do our laundry first. That's done. Let's go. Two, one, three, one, two. God, ayaw. I actually don't have much plan on this ride. Just trying to retrace the streets that uh, been accustomed to since arriving here in Toronto. Ever since the pandemic started, I rekindled my love for cycling when I was in Singapore. Unfortunately, my bike didn't make it here. Luckily, there is bike share Toronto to save the day. Exploring new place by bike is one of my favorite things to do, mainly for the reason that it's easier to go around. said to be the longest street in the world. Some say it's 86 kilometers while others say it's around 1,890 kilometers stretching all the way up to the Ontario-Minnesota international border. I'm up to no debate so better check on this if you have the time. The great thing about cycling here is there's a dedicated bike lane. There's a lot of restaurants here and a lot of milk tea shops. I think mas marami pa dito compared to Singapore. And there's also a lot of ongoing construction on both sides of the street, making the pavement and even. Dundas Square and Eagle Center. With all the illuminated huge LCD screens and billboard, it's like Toronto's Times Square and London's Piccadilly Circus.
Guidelines to check out Bay Adelaide Center. I'm not sure if you're familiar with Suits. Set in New York City is a legal drama series that revolves around a law associate who hires a college dropout with eidetic memory. Anywho, I just want to point out that most of the scenes are filmed here. And this is the actual building included in the show's intro. Here is a drawback of using this bike share. I bought a day pass but I can only use it for 30 minutes. It means I have to dock the bike in the nearby station or else there will be an additional $4 charge. Such an inconvenience if you know what I mean. So, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3. One, two, three, two, three. still quite a tourist here, so no visit to Toronto is complete without dropping by Nathan Phillips Square. I won't be spending a lot of time here since I can only hold this bike for half an hour. Heading back to Bay Street and pass by Union Station all the way to CN Tower, which will be my last stop. are just right next to each other. At the base of the tower, there's a Rigby's Aquarium, Rogers Center, and Toronto's Railway Museum. It's such a cool place to go around and see some old historical trains. And that's the end of our downtown exploration. Getting to know a new place by foot can be fun but it's quite daunting and I'm just happy to get around the city by bike.
my biggest complaint is how incredibly slow the app is. The GPS is slow. Same goes for the display of the map. And the camera to scan the QR code is somewhat buggy. You really need to increase the time to dock the bike because it's almost impossible to get anywhere in the city by bike in 30 minutes. So in conclusion, I'm just going to buy a bike of my own. That's it for today. See you in the next episode. Peace!